Baby. It's Matthew. It's Matthew. It's Matthew. We are on the road to WrestleMania here. We are in Liverpool. If you haven't seen Raw yet, I'll fill you in on some things. Um, I have not seen past Seth Rollins calling out The Rock. I left well, it on that, that cliffhanger like there, and then I went to the gym, as you can tell. That was like intro. So much happened. Um, they they set it up pretty nice, actually. But I think that you know what WWE does on the the Monday before um, WrestleMania. They kind of give some secrets away, and I'll get to that a little bit on these matches. It'll kind of uh, I'll give you my inside scoop on what I heard because there was uh, some Easter eggs, as I guess is what we like to call them. Um, but but I'll fill you in. Um, we'll get to some intros. Um, I'll start first, and I'll, I'll hand it over to the to the savage over there. Uh, the Lock, that's me. Um, watch wrestling my entire life. Uh, play video games, and and our podcast. We're going to do a bunch of different shit. So um, you know, keep keep tuned. We play a lot of video games. Um, and watch a lot of wrestling and just do dude shit. So we'll talk about whatever the fuck we want to talk about, really. Dude shit. And, I, and with that being said, I'll, I'll, I'll send this over to uh, Mr. Savage. How you doing, Mr. Savage? I'm surprised you haven't addressed my vest yet. I, I did. The vest is nice. I like it. I dig it. I don't know. If Final you... boss. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you're uh, not watching Raw of late, um, The Rock comes out in a new vest every single day. Every single Monday or SmackDown, he's been on SmackDown too. So they've been crossed. Uh, they uh, Ill Rock is back, baby. That's what I say. Anyway, I'm Tommy Savage. I want to introduce myself a little more. I'm here to be the yin to Ron's yang. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you could say that again. <laughs> <laughs> the anti hero, baby. A little bit of Seth, a little bit of Roman, a little bit of a, the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, um, surely he doesn't get to fight against The Rock at the end of Raw. There's no way they main event. The final boss on Raw the week know, before man. WrestleMania. Is that what happened? I don't Tell know. You right. got to watch Raw um, because you're, you're going to see Ooh, some stuff you're going to make – you're not giving me any spoilers? Nothing? I don't want it. I don't want to ever spoil Raw for you. Like That's like one Fair of enough. my things too, Fair right? Enough. I don't well, want to spoil I think, it. I think we need to get into some WrestleMania talk. Then, we do, we do. Wrong. So WrestleMania 40? 40? Is it 40? Wow, 40 years. 40. The That's biggest crazy. WrestleMania of all time. The yep. bloat, baby. The bloat. I keep plugging that, too, and I think it is. Like, it, it's... Hashtag bloat. <laughs> Hashtag Cody, Cody Kai, baby. We'll get to that, too. Um, Hashtag 40 Cody years Kai, though, babies. Be Made them get... bleed. <laughs> Before we get into that, I want to ask you though, because um, I haven't asked this question to you yet. What is your first WrestleMania memory that you have? What was the first WrestleMania Ooh. you saw? What was that first thing that stood out to you? Jeez, um, put you on the spot too. Yeah, see, I'm I'm like a fair weather fan, I guess you could say. I I wasn't not a diehard by any means, but recently I've come back into it. Um, as far as which WrestleMania it was, sure. I couldn't tell you. Okay. What was the memory of it though? But I would say Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay. Versus Bret Hart. Bret Hart. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Was it the one where he bled? Oh Yeah. Was that was that Survivor? No, that was SummerSlam. Well, that was SummerSlam. Survivor Series. Yeah. There might have been Survivor yeah. Series. 
uh, I think. Put me on the spot too much. I wasn't ready to talk for that. But yeah, no. Uh, but if that's your first like wrestling moment, we'll go with that first wrestling moment because I'll, I'll I'll do the same. But that was a good moment when that blood was streaming down right through his teeth. Before we go any further, I want to give a shout out to Howard Fink Finkel, Finkel? For coming up with the term WrestleMania. I do you know what know Vince that. wanted to call it? Do you know what no. Vince wanted to call it? No, I can only be surprised. Colossal tussle. No. Could you imagine? No. Colossal tussle forty. No. I don't no, think I so, Bubba. Can't. I don't think so, Bubba. Not today. Not now. Not never. So, so with this podcast, Howard Fink, you're gonna... Finkel, thank you, sir. <laughs> with this podcast, you're gonna get some trivia. I did not know that. I that is a and I'm a diehard wrestling fan, and uh, for years and years and years, and yes. When you say fair weather, let's be honest here. WWE kind of trajectory sometimes goes into, you know, let's just say, I don't know, whatever we want to say, right? So, and and it's good mm-hmm. because it's back. It's it's uh, you didn't see oh, that part yet. We are yet, so wrong, back, baby. But I, I believe. Dare it. I say, are we coming into the Attitude Era 2.0? I think with the Netflix signing, it, it's going into the uh, un PG era. I don't know what to call it yet. Um, Fair enough. PG-13 Could be its own little era, hybrid. The Netflix era, like they're gonna. Who knows? I mean, it, it depends what's gonna stick. But I, it is a do. It is definitely a new era. Um, you know, and it's uh, in my opinion, uh, and you can kind of, you know, chime in with this too. But like, as soon as Vince kind of got out, and granted, it's Vince McMahon, right? So is he ever really truly out? We'll never know. But it seems like. He's, he's slimy. Yeah, he is. We'll, we'll, we'll find more information on that. I'm sure we'll report that soon. But uh, mm-hmm. it seems like when he kind of stepped away, and even before that, like when he stepped away and then came back, like even when he stepped away that initial time when all this was going on, it did seem like it kind of turned a corner. It was watchable again. And uh, and, and, it, and it took a lot of eyes from AEW, uh, myself included. Shout out to Paul Levesque, Triple H. All because of Triple H, which we 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 dearly love, and and uh, and now because of the you know scandal. If you don't know the Vince McMahon scandal, um, maybe we'll do an episode on it. It's a lot of information, but um, long story Down short, line, he's gone. Sure. <laughs> long story short, he's gone, and it, it's just it's watchable again. Like it's not, you know, it's not as cheesy. They got some some good storylines going. Storylines quality this year. Quality, I went back and I yeah. started watching some of last year's WrestleMania, and I got to tell you. This year's gonna blow yeah. out. Night and day. <laughs> gonna blow it out of the water. Um, with we, that, let's get to these matches because we're gonna, gonna say, you. should we get into the matches here? Yeah, yeah. Now, what we're gonna do, we don't know, obviously. And <laughs> listen, I don't think myself and TJ have enough time and energy to really look at every single dirt sheet. We do what we do. We probably see some Facebook videos, some YouTube clips from now and then with information, but we don't know. We don't have anything in this business. We just, we just watch it. I don't book them. I just yeah. say what I think. So what we're going to do here is go through and give our predictions. So right off the bat, um, I'll let you start this one off. We got Rey Mysterio, Dragon Lee versus uh, Santos Escobar and, and Dominic Mysterio. So judge, a little Judgment Day. You'll see Judgment Day all up and down this card. But go ahead, Tej. What do you think about this one? I got to say, I really didn't see the Dragon Lee play, mm-hmm. especially when you got Carlito standing right behind you. Carlito just standing there like a fucking schlub. Like, yeah. what's what, what's he to do in a situation like that? You got a WrestleMania card, potentially the biggest WrestleMania of all time. And Carlito's standing in the fucking shadows. Yeah, it's interesting you say that, too. That was my thought process as well because, you know, Carlito would, would – that's a big pop for that. And why he's not yeah. in this match, I don't know. I don't know how – you know, I don't know the, the ins and outs. Um, I don't know why he's in there. Um, I, I'm going to take- That being said – I will say, I do believe I'm not confident on this. I haven't seen any of the matches yet, personally. But uh, Santos and Dragon Lee have had some quality matches. Um, I think that's probably what's at play there. Dom and Ray obviously been in the ring time second to none anymore, and I just think I think I think that's the move there. You're not going to open up night one of WrestleMania unless you've got some quality shit on hand you know yeah. and also disclaimer this might not be the actual lineup right we don't know that wwe likes to change ah uh, fair enough so, fair enough they so do they do mix it up, up mix it up yeah could this open up could maybe? it potentially maybe so, it's it's hall of famer Rey mysterio hall of famer now big time um, big time so swap. what do you think you got you got uh 
Oh, Ray's not losing that match. You don't think there's so? No, there's no chance. No way. You don't let Dom. Well, mm. and again, Dom Mysterio. I will say he's top five heels in the game today. Top five. Yeah, and he's only getting better too. And that was that's why I'm going to take Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio because he is, you know, Dominic. Let's let's be honest. You know me, I'm a heel guy, and I'm a, I'm heel a guy too. friggin' heel guy, baby. I'm I'm a big heel guy, but We're both I, Paul Heyman guys. Yeah, but I think that I I, I think. I think uh, Ray is going to put his son over because it's going to give him a boost. And listen, Dominic Mysterio, from where he is, from where he was when he started initially and got in and started getting his feet wet to what he is now, completely 180. Um, I love, I love that each week. And you know what's interesting too? And I'll give a shout out to Dominic Mysterio. Is he's wrestling pretty much everybody he can, and he's not winning everyone. And I think that's just learning. And I think he is. Doesn't need I think, it. Yeah, I think somebody. I think he's beyond we're wins talk and about losses. This. Exactly. I think we're going to talk about this in like three, four, five years, where you know possibly you could be on the title run, right? Um, I, I'm not saying oh, talent absolutely. wise that he has. I don't know. I I just know he gets better every week. That's my interpretation. Every week I see him gets a little bit better on the mic, gets a little bit better uh, in the ring, and he's wrestling top guys, and he's not winning every one of those. Um, no. and I, I I like the the I like the way that WWE is really kind of giving him that. Um, so I have Mysterio, you have, you're not losing to the hall of famer. So we'll see what happens. I think, uh, Ray would be very happy to drop, uh, drop. I feel like this is a big time match for Ray to pass on the torch to dragon Lee, dragon Lee to be their new little high flyer, little guy who gets tossed around while simultaneously effing up the big dudes. Yeah. There needs to be a little bit more two or five. So, I mean, you got Ricochet. Um, who's just tearing it up right now? He's got to fight somebody. Ooh, I, I love me some ricochet match. matches. Yeah. Shouts to his wife Samantha Irwin. Choo. Yeah, you haven't seen Raw yet on that. He that was a great match that Ricochet had with uh, Ivar, um, of all people. Ooh. and and that yeah, was just really yesterday. Good. Yeah, it was yesterday. Nice. Bianca Belair. So we got the second one. Um, Bianca Belair, Naomi, and oh, Jake, Jake Cargill. Jake Cargill. Cargill. I called it. Uh, Called it on Survivor Series, I think was it or Rumble with you, right? Where I was like, yes. they got a debut her because she's already there, and boy, that she's... was a debut, right? A heck of a debut, beautiful. Versus Damage Control, I'm gonna let you start off with this because uh, I have a little bit of biased opinion about Damage Control, but go ahead. I like Damage Control. I'm a Bailey fan. I think Damage Control was a solid storyline. I feel like it's fizzling. Um, and I think this is a good WrestleMania to kind of send it out. Bianca, yeah. Naomi, Jade Cargill, I think they're going to wipe the floor with those girls, but it's going to be entertaining as hell watching those strong girls throw around those little girls. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah I, yeah, I agree with you on this one, too. Um, and as part as damage control goes, um, I'm just not into that story. I never have been. It just didn't catch me. And I'm not – listen, the talent is there. Uh you know, Absolutely. They're, they're all talented wrestlers, and I don't mean any in disrespect for them. sure. Um, in but ring. I just it got stale, and on and also I, I just had never really hooked myself with that. Um, and I'm a big Jay Cargill, uh, uh, Cargill uh, fan. Spicy sure. little twist, spicy little twist. You know, Jade's gonna image, turn on him. It's gonna turn on him because I don't think she wants to be in any tag team type of type of matches. Yeah, I think Jade. Jade Cargill is going to turn on Bianca. That's that's the that's the real match people want to see. People want to see Bianca Jade. Yeah, don't want to see you on the same side. I, I agree. With Maybe you. they do. I don't know. I mean, it's WWE. They we will. We, we're obviously going to see it at WrestleMania. But Jade's here to call out the whole roster of SmackDown. And I think Bianca, they're push Bianca's her. not ready to take second. Uh huh. And, and and Bianca Belair has. And I'm not. To her. I'm not. I'm also not trying to slight Naomi here. Naomi has been. She came back. When did she come back? She came back for the Rumble, correct? Elimination Chamber. I think. Elimination she, Chamber. She might have been on was, Royal Rumble, but um, Elimination Chamber. That I watched that match. Actually, I watched that match last week again. I kind of watched the elimination Elimination Chamber again, and you know, she came back. She's a little rusty. I think you called me out on that too. Little ring rust. Little ring rust. A little bit better, but she has looked better um, since then. A little bit Absolutely. more fluid. 
uh, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Here's the thing, though. You're right. I, I think you're right. I think they're setting up Bianca and Jade for the future. I want to see Jade and Charlotte Flair go. I think that's the big main event. Mm, I think eventually definitely. when Charlotte comes definitely. back, she got married, all that great stuff. Um, and she'll be right. back. It's Charlotte Flair. I mean, she's one of the best still. And uh, I and and, and her hubby's royalty. Over, yeah, and her hubby's over here again too. So I think she's she's coming, and I can see them building eventually to next year's WrestleMania. I'm going to call it now. I think it's going to be Cargill and Charlotte Flair. I think that's going to what they're going to set up. So Bianca Belair probably fight with her throughout this season. Um, I like I, it. I think Belair is going to take a little bit of break. I mean, it's just kind of that time. Um, she's Rosen, and and it's no disrespect. She's an amazing wrestler. I love when she comes out. Um, I think she wrestles great. Uh, I just think, you know, sometimes it, it seems like the new WWE does not want, it gives a lot more breaks with things. Um, and and, yeah. and I think that's coming, um, my opinion. So, yes, I have uh, Jade and, and Bianca and Naomi. We're in agreement there. All right. So, this is the big one. The big in. Six pack ladder match. Have they ever done this before? I don't remember them ever Six doing Six tag teams in a ladder match? I mean, I mean this, this is. is yeah, I mean, I it's it's WrestleMania 40. You can't hold anything back. You can't. But look at the teams that are in here. So we got Judgment Day. Obviously, Judgment Day is going to be in the Obviously. mix with Damian Priest and, and Finn Balor. They got the belts. Awesome truth. It's, you for, have to... it's for the belts. Yeah. Well, I guess what they – from what I heard was there's going to be the both sets of belts. They make a play to split the belts at some point. I'm, I'm like, tired of seeing – like, I think I would like to have two tag team champs again. I think that's what they're doing. Two sets because, of tag teams. Yes, yeah, Rumorville is that they're going to have basically all four belts for the tag teams there. So if you pull one okay. down, you get those belts, and I think it, uh, it. From what I understand now, the second team will get those second belts too. So interesting. That's maybe why the six pack. But you got awesome truth. You got to throw in truth. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Miz and Truth actually he, actually took Truth that, is um, so over right now, bro. So I could see it happening. And the maybe maybe you volume. maybe you even toss in DIY. DIY has been fucking on a heater. Yeah, they've been on a I'll, heater, I'll, man. I want to talk to you. About they got that. something going on with this like regeneration X type deal. I I am not. I, I love the wrestlers. I love Johnny and and uh, um, they're in ring. Thomas. They're in ring, but I think they're I think they're out of ring persona is is starting to blossom. I'm I think seeing they it. Need to repackage. There, I think maybe they might go into. Oh, for season, sure. But I need to repackage DIY. I don't think it sticks. I don't think it's good. Um, New Day, you, you can't ever count New Day out. You can't. No. You can't. They're, they're, they're what? The longest reigning mm -hmm. stable in all of WWE history? Mm-hmm. Like, and the most how? entertaining, in my opinion. I love New Day. Love Absolutely. Always. Always entertain me. Uh, New Catch Republic. Um, this is Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate. I'm I a fan of the Switch. I am a huge fan of the Switch. Back to Pete Dunn. Bring okay. it back. Butch, Butch was not hitting for me. No. Um. I think the New Catch Republic is a solid team. And here's a big, the strong boy. Here's a surprise for me. A-Town Down Under, which they just changed that, right? Because it was just A-Town Down I dig Under. that. Uh, dig I like that. it. Uh, Grayson Waller, Austin Theory. Listen, they both can wrestle. I mean, you say Absolutely. what you want about Austin Theory. Austin Theory's got the look, and he can wrestle. He, and Grayson he's, Waller is – he's funny. He's the sidekick, absolutely. but he can wrestle too. Um, sure. So he's won me over. You never Grayson know. Waller's got some good mic mic skills as well. I will I will shout that out. Um, Austin Theory has improved immensely. I I definitely care more about this match than I did about him versus John Cena. <laughs> I can tell you that much. <laughs> I think everybody can say that too. Um, so what you got, what you got here? I think DIY is going to make a play for the belt. You I really so? do. Okay. Who else? I think it's, it's that time. I. I think you give it to Awesome Truth, and then you do that Regeneration X move. Okay. You bring you bring back you bring back Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and they see it. Yeah. It's it's kind of like a and passing. It's it's comedy gold, baby. I'm all about the comedy. <laughs> Tommy yeah. comedy. Anything Truth does. Tommy Savage, gold. Tommy comedy, baby. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm gonna actually go with Judgment Day and. Uh, you think I, they're I gotta retaining? Go Austin, or I'm sorry. I got to go New Day. I think I think it's going to overpower. I think Judgment Day, New Day come out of this with belts. Um, I think New Day is 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 going to get a little bit of a, a an, another push here. Um, we'll see what happens. I mean, they, we could talk about Judgment Day, and, and I don't know. That's getting a little stale for me. 
Um, I think Judgment Day needs to switch some stuff up, and that's not a knock on on the on the women's champ because she's no, I she's think you're amazing, right. But I think the Judgment Day is getting a little mm, little when NWO require you know started recruiting every single person. Um, it's yes, a little yes, 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 yes. But I still think they're on top. Um, so I'm gonna definitely go the top the top stable. I would agree. Now the big one. This is going to be my favorite. I think they're going to steal WrestleMania. I, I think this match here, Jimmy and Jay, are going to steal WrestleMania hundred percent. Change your tune a little bit. I, I really think. Do. I think you. I think you thought. I think. I think you. You're jumping on my bandwagon with that one. I believe. No, I, mean, I know we don't have that on record because this <laughs> is our first podcast, but we have talked about this before. Yeah. And I did say that to Jimmy versus Jay was the move to make, and you're like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, well, I didn't we know are. at the time. I didn't know at the time. I'm but saying also, main event Jay Uso versus <laughs> Jimmy Crack Corn Uso. It's gonna be fire. Does Rikishi brother, make an appearance? Oh, Owen Hart and Owen Hart and uh, Owen Hart, Bret Hart. Yeah. We had Hardy, Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In WrestleMania, though. I think, What's this yes, in that's the that's the that's the play they're trying to make. It's like every God. two years or something like that. This is a crapshoot for me. Um, I want. I mean, obviously, I'm yeeting all day. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Yeet! No yeet! Oh, Jimmy when Uso. Roman hits that no yeet, though, I'm no yeet. I, I know. Tell you but... what, as soon as Roman hits the stage, I'm back to no yeet. Is Don't it going to be bloodline you. interference? Is it going to be, you know, who knows? Who knows what could happen, right? The I, Solo I... come out, and then Rikishi comes out, and Solo over his knee, beats that ass, beats Jimmy's ass, beats... Jay's ass and shuts it all down. You brought no. up Solo. He's not even on the card for WrestleMania. At least that, at least that we know of yet, right? So, well, he's very important to both main events, as per usual. And 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 I am a not a a big fan of of the bloodline. Never have been. Um, when it started, I mean, I respect obviously. I, I respect, liked but... it. I like it now. I think they need to make some pivots, but I still <laughs> like the island of relevancy. I like the Roman Reigns. Acknowledge me. That's my <laughs> shit, great. bro. And you got the rock. It's one of the best. Too. It's one of the best gimmicks in wrestling. Period. Oh yeah. No, no. You say no, it in no. any city, no matter what they do, you're doing what he told them to do. Oh yeah, no, like, hands down, and, and, and all my hats off to Roman Reigns. Um, that being said, to... I'm gonna say, Yeet, Jey Uso. Jey Uso, I'm with you on that. I'm rooting for Jay, but you just never know. You just never know with the bloodline. So very true. And I think uh, we'll Jimmy needs to, over, to, needs to win one. more. Yeah, I will that, say Jimmy needs to win more, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Jimmy take the dub in yeah. that one as well. But also, Jay's on top of the world right now. I mean, he's sitting <sighs> Blackhawks games. With Lil, he's, he's coming out with Lil Wayne. Like, come on, bro. Wayne, like, come on, know, bro. Main event, man. I do see the little bits. I didn't see the match. I didn't see the, the actual Raw, but I did see little bits and clips. Anyway, so let's get to Lil Weezy, another... best rapper <laughs> yeah. alive at the best WrestleMania of all time. Come on. Yeah, you'll see it when you – I think it's like – an hour. All right. Run. Next one. Next match is the match I'm most excited for. I Sammy Zayn versus Hunter. The Ring General. Oh, Gunther is on fire. Sammy Zayn is so over right now. Is friggin' boiling over. You got to do something here. This, the Intercontinental Championship is known for being the match of wrestlemania mm -hmm. huge so, this is a huge pivotal ma pivot pivotal match pivotal. i got i got nothing why couldn't i this. say that word i got nothing you don't think this. you don't you're not even interested you don't I, like no, anything i'm interested, I'm interested. Okay. i think it's gonna be a you just match. you don't know who you don't know which way it's gonna I don't know which go way they're gonna go i, I don't I, I think i think it's time to give sammy some gold i think it's time to move gunther up to go in against seth because, oops, spoiler alert, I don't think Seth losing the belt to, on night two. We'll get to that later. I, I think that I'm good. saying it's Sammy's time to reign as Intercontinental Champion. And that, that very well could be. Um, Gunther, amazing. Like, he's just powerhouse and, and great. And also, a little more trivia. Kevin Owens does not want to ever have the Intercontinental Championship again. Because he and Owen Hart held the championship. For the same amount of days. The exact same amount of days. I didn't know that either. 
big Owen Hart fan. Yeah, we're going to get into that because I think the Canada clues that happened in Raw that you're going to go, wait a minute, Cody's going to win this. Oh, thing. yeah. Cody's going to win this thing. Um, anyway, Do you Sammy think Zane, Cody's still going to win? We'll oh, get to it in a minute. Um, Gunther, Sami Zayn, I, I want Sami Zayn to win. Sami Zayn is great. He's a, he's a WWE treasure. Um, I think he's ready. I think they need to slap some gold on him. Problem is, it's Gunther. And Gunther is a, you know. Very true. Um, he's a force. Who's that wrestler that I never could stand? Goldberg. Um, he's no, a, no, 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 no. Far kind of from it. In ring work. Oh, no, 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 no. Far no. from it. Let me let me specify. I'm not talking about okay. in ring work. I'm just talking oh, about the goodness. ways. Just that the, that, that kind of gave me the heebie jeebies. Like, I was a fan of Goldberg as a kid, but I think that was because WCW did a good job of making me a fan of Goldberg. I, as an adult who actually can Watching see wrestling. wrestling for what it is, I. I, I know that Goldberg was not really up to what he, what he what they built him as, and Gunther is is. Mm -hmm. No, Gunther is a technician in the ring and and well deserved and and has been in the business for a long time. Did a little research on Gunther. He's been in the business for a long time. Um, yeah, and, lost and a lot could, of weight too. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight, and I, I just don't see that. I, what I'm saying is, I don't. Walter see them, was a big boy. Yeah, I don't see them getting away from Gunther as not holding any belt. Because if you take the belt off him, yeah, you can run him up to the heavyweights, of course. But it's gonna like I don't know if now is the time for that. I just don't know if now is the time. I think you got to solidify your your top dogs, and right now is it Cody? Right. Rose? Is it Maybe Rose? I'm is jumping the gun. Is Reigns leaving to go do movies? We don't know, so it's kind of up in the air. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with I'm hoping Sami Zayn does it, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if Gunther kept it. Oh, no, you and I, <laughs> me and yours, ultimate favorite. Uh, I mean, she's the best world champion, women's world champion ever. Mommy, she's the best. Um, Rhea Ripley versus <laughs> Becky Lynch. I uh, go ahead, go ahead. You start it off. What do you think? I mean, it's it's mommy's reign. It is. This is Mommy's reign. This is Mommy's first WrestleMania title defense. Mm -hmm. She took it last WrestleMania, and it was a friggin' phenomenal match. Anybody that wants to take anything away from Charlotte and Rhea, kiss my ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. This match, though, this match, though, got potential. I mean, Becky, Becky has been putting in the work this yeah. year. I, and I mean, top to bottom, carrying NXT to the next level. She's been really, 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 really kicking ass. I think they've, I think they've got a good thing going. They're taking, they're taking this, this rivalry outside of WWE. They're talking on shouts, shouts to the dude Ariel Helwani. Helwani. Sorry about that. MMA hour. I'm a big, I'm a oh, big yeah, MMA yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. UFC baby. Yeah. But uh, Ariel Helwani had. Ray on and Becky did a little, did a little bit of an appearance. If you want to give that a sh check oh, out, I seen that. Check I it out seen on YouTube. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, that's I, that I think that's staged, beautiful. Though. That looked a little. Well, of course worse. it's staged. Of course yeah. it's chore choreographed and staged. But I think even pulling Becky aside and asking her what she thinks about this viral video of Rhea giving Shayna Baszler the stink face and Rhea and uh, Rhea, yeah. Rhea Ripley giving giving the stink face. What does that say to little girls? Oh, and does Becky deliver an awesome promo for that? I'm telling you, this is going to be a spicy match. I wouldn't be surprised if they threw it first. I wouldn't be surprised. I uh, Open open up WrestleMania, crack it wide open with Rhea versus, versus I Becky. Know. I don't know. I'll take a stink face from Rhea Ripley anytime, though, um, if that's on the, the match. Um, was that offered? I don't know. I check, don't know check. if it was offered to me. Is that on the table? I, Just check. If it, if it ever is, like, yeah. Probably be, not. Uh, probably not. I got Rhea in this. I don't see them going away. From <laughs> I don't. I don't champion. see them swapping the belt out as much as Becky is beyond championships at this point. Yeah. She doesn't need a belt. Yeah, and that's not that true. Rhea does either. Not that Rhea does either. I think the belt does more for Rhea's storyline than it does for Becky's. Uh, yeah, and I also think for for women's uh, wrestling, um, you know, it's keep it with Rhea. Keep it real. Let her run with it. Let her let her Hulk Hogan Serious. shit till till she can because that's the, the level. freaking wheels fall off, baby. Listen, like it's mommy's I, time. It is, and and mommy. What I noticed on the last uh, when she um, 
Who did she last fight in uh, Elimination Chamber? What's her name again? Um, uh, Jax. Was her name Jax? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a good match. Um, that was a good match for... Nia Jax, not Nia. Naya Naya. That was a good match for Nia, but Rhea kind of did a couple things. That was to Nia. She's been kicking ass too. I wouldn't say that um, Nia Jax botched him, but Rhea's got Rhea's got some uh, aerial skills that she's throwing into her repertoire. Yeah. Where she goes to see Hitting it. the frog splash, a little sum sum. Hey. Yeah, I think it was a like a missile drop kick that she did right away, like the like the first like minute of the match, and I was like, that's pretty impressive for you know a bigger, larger girl like Rhea. That's Rhea a big Williams, match right? for her career so, for sure. Huge. Yeah. So so very nimble. I was, I was home, really impressed home by that. Country living it up. Family front row, beautiful. Love yeah, to see it. Yeah. That being said, mommy's time. Yeah, I can't see them taking it away from uh, Rhea Ripley. All right, main event. Watch. Obviously, this is going to be the main event. We got the Rock Roman. How Reigns. could it not? It's Tommy. the biggest tag team event of all time. And this, what I love about this storyline is, is they've been setting this up so well each and every week. Either if it's Raw or SmackDown, they have been really adding layers to the story um and and i love it i can't wait to see this one um this is this is exciting what do you think we got the i like Rock, i like the, the switches this one, we're gonna talk I like about the this switches the swaps that they had to make obviously your boy cm punk getting hurt kind of derailed some plans they had for mania i'm sure of it <laughs> um but i think they pivoted well i think they did yeah. i th- here's my take on this tag match Particularly, Cody Rhodes cannot, will not win both matches. Yeah, I agree with that. Won't I agree happen. with that. Um, so Cody needs to lose the tag team match if he has any chance of beating Roman for the title. I won't see it. I won't see it any other way. Correct. I- I'm with you on that. I, <laughs> he can. I, he can lose both. I'm I should think, say that he I'm he, he cannot win both. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. It'd be crazy I don't think he, he will lose both. It, it would if be he, crazy if, if he, he wins. If he wins the tag match, I'm not winning. I, I, my whatever my thoughts are out the window. I think that they're going to lose the tag match to The Rock and Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns is going to lose the title to Cody Rhodes after the final boss. Yeah, turns. I- on the tribal chief, I have because if, if you really want, if you really want a Roman versus Rock main event like they've been calling for, like what they really wanted, if that's if that's really what they want, you got to build the story better. You gotta you gotta have the Rock involved in Roman losing his belt, and then they have a story. If the belt's involved, you don't have a story. Correct. I'm sorry, you don't because but- then you know the Rock is not the Rock is not going to win the title. Nobody sees that happening, and and I don't think they even need to. That's do just this my right two cents. That that's and and I agree with with everything you said there. Um, I I don't think you need to do that right now. I don't think the Rock and Reigns is right now. I just don't think it's there. It, it, I think it's a great match, but maybe WrestleMania oh, yeah. forty three build a little bit of a story, you know? Because here's the what thing. Did you this do is, even? My opinion is Reigns is stepping away. I think he's stepping away. I think he's stepping away after. Saturday, Sunday, I think he really is. Um, and, and I don't. It's not a health thing. Um, which if you didn't get a chance to watch the Legends bio on Reigns, um, it's very good. Uh, very very good. Um, it kind of goes into you know a lot of things. Anyway, I don't. I cannot see Reigns keeping the belt after Saturday, Sunday. I'm not saying it's impossible. I mean, he could. Maybe that's what that is, right? But I don't think this is why I think it could happen. It's in Philadelphia. <laughs> in said interview, he mentions Philadelphia. You know, anything is possible. If there's ever a city I would love to see boo and boo profusely, it is Philadelphia. And if Roman true. Reigns raises that belt, I, I don't think it's going to happen. The, but booze, the boos that will reign. Oh, you, the sweet After you watch Raw, you're going to understand my point here. I think Reigns Enough. is I think Reigns is alluding to the fact he might be stepping away. He's already got I believe he has as of Saturday he will hold a Hogan record. And then Sunday he's going to tie another Hogan record. 
listen. Right. Like, Hogan, like, like, I know everybody's like, well, he's got to keep it until Hogan. You know, he's got to be Hogan. He doesn't. Like, does he deserve it? He, but it doesn't matter. You're right. Like, I don't think it and matters. And I have since conceded that argument. Yeah. I did believe that he needed to beat that, but I, now that I see all of the asterisks, mm-hmm. I could see why him it's, taking any Bruno record, any Hogan record, but he's already would be, up there. He's already up there. With he's Bruno. definitely he's, he's in Hogan. the discussion he's of the legends for sure. So, and I think you he can is. throw him I on a Rushmore. I would throw him on a Rushmore just for his promo cutting ability lately. Oh, and his career of in lately, general. Yeah, I mean he he worked on that his whole career because when he can't. I mean you guys know this if you watch wrestling, you watch the Shield. He was not the spokesman of the Shield. He barely talked. Well, that, that's the one thing I said. I remember. I and he was the big dog. I was talking to my wife, and I was like, "Do you remember what I said?" I go, "This guy will be unstoppable if he learns how to use the mic." And what happened? Well, it took him a little bit of time, and that's hey, that's fair. I mean, shout out to Paul Heyman. Shout out to Paul Heyman. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I think Hall of Famer I, Paul I think, Heyman. I think that the bloodline, and but by the way, if you don't know, the stipulation is anything goes. Bloodline rules if they lose. So if Seth and uh, Cody lose. Uh, it's bloodline rules for for Cody's match. I think that's going to happen. So yes, I think Rock and uh, Reigns win this because I think Cody's coming home with the belt. I think that that story. I think he's going to write his story tomorrow. I think it's just time for that. Um, I also think either in this match, well, no, no, I'm, I'm going to pause on that. Um, I, I don't know if Punk's going to come out either in this match. Or obviously the next night match with Seth, but I'd probably lean more towards the next night. Um, but you never know. CM Punk had just raised hair. I mean, he's been on fire too of late, especially the last week, um, last two weeks. Absolutely. Really. So one of the best Absolutely. Raws. They, uh, I don't know if you saw the the ratings on that Raw that that Punk was on with uh, Rollins and and Cody. Um, it was like I think it was like four point one million or something like that, or three point one million. It was a lot, two point one million, something like that, uh, more so than any other segment in Raw in the last like you know couple years. So it's a very, very. I know uh, you love him. I don't oh, think I he do. makes an appearance. I don't think he makes an appearance night one. Maybe maybe for some commentary, but not no, I think not any partic- not through. anything particular with Seth. He's, he's definitely gonna, he's gonna screw going up. after. They're trying to screw with Drew. He's going to screw over Drew, which is kind of interesting because really the storyline going into this was going to be Seth and CM Punk. That was the, the what they were building to. Obviously, with the injury, that, that kind of took a backseat. And you're right, 100% right. They pivoted that to W. Like, they did better than I thought they were going to do on that. So kudos to them. Um, but, yes. Oh, yeah. Roman Drew Reigns, is turning up the cheese, turning up the corn. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. But I – I think we've talked about this before, not on the podcast, obviously, but I think Seth is just light years above both of them right now. And I think you got to let, you got to let the Drew, let the Drew versus CM Punk uh, play out. Yeah. Punk needs to wrestle Seth Rollins. It's not the other way around. Um, You know, and, and that's no disrespect. Obviously that's my boy, but he doesn't, Seth doesn't need to wrestle Punk. Punk needs to wrestle Seth. 100%. And I think it'd be great, but I also think they could build to that. So, you know, this this injury might be a blessing. In the yeah. Of punk, so, uh, all right. So we got uh, this one is, I don't know. Like, I can't really figure this one. I know how much, I know, I know your feelings on Kerry and Crawford. <sighs> yeah, he lead off on it. No, no, I'll just uh, try. I'll, I'll lead off on these ones. Uh, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits, which very talented Street Profits. I like them. Bobby Lashley always this is Bobby Lashley. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like a rinse and repeat over his last couple of years. Nothing against Bobby Lashley. I think it's just kind of stale. Um, and then the final Testament carrying cross and the authors of pain. I mean, those authors of pain, if they're pushing them, like, listen, I know you're not a big carrying cross fan. I think he's all right. I don't think he's anything crazy special right now, at least, um, storyline. I don't think they built this storyline. I don't think this, this had, no. I, I think this needed more to get to this card. Uh, in my opinion. Um, but still, I think it's going to be entertaining. I think uh, what I would like to see is the authors of pain really show what they could do. Cause I think that's a good tag match that could take over. You know, those are some big boys, dude. And they could, they're very nimble. I think they can. Go. Oh yeah. Um, nothing against uh, the street profits. Their in ring work is definitely interesting. Yeah. I got carrying cross on this one though. I 
I could see that happening. I like I like the other team of Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits better, obviously. Um, I would say, I don't know, this whole Final Testament thing, it just really annoys me. Anytime I hear their music, uh, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it, but that's okay. I mean, some people were into it, I guess. But like you said, they didn't spend enough time building this up. It, it was really kind of like a, we need we need a little time filler. They got what they got what seven match seven matches. That's that's kind of interesting too. They've got seven matches planned for night one. One of which being a six pack ladder match, and then only six matches for night two. Which I which I think it means it's going to be a longer time, right? So usually some of these matches are like ten fifteen. These are going to have Fair enough. longer. So maybe they we have forty five minute yeah. to fifty minute I'm main gonna... event. I mean, you, you've got to, you've got, you've got to, you've got to throw the world heavyweight championship a bone too. They've got to have a serious match. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Anyway, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go against you and say Final Testament's gonna lose. Yeah, and, and that Ooh, Final be Testament. The case. I, I'm not invested. In I'll be Lashley and the Street Profits. Shouts to Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. They have been wrestlers. A, they, I like them boys. they have been good wrestlers. Yeah, they're good wrestlers. Rassler. They're getting better on the mic as well. Yeah, they're progressing. Um, I think Bobby Lashley could have. Anyway, it, it's it is what it is. It didn't build to this, so I'm not really invested in this. This is a uh, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> it's a filler. I'd be surprised if it's the opening match. Honestly, I think it's probably going to be somewhere in the mid card. But I think LA not? Knight and AJ Styles are going to open up WrestleMania Night too, because this one. I mean. Uh, what can we say? I mean, here AJ Styles problem. is looking like Macho Man in the Spider Man movie. I know. Is he getting? Bigger? He is. It seems like he Styles is like juice to the. He looks juice to the max. I love it. I don't think he's juice though. That's the thing. Um, but he. You think he he's just bigger. Lately. You think he's just hitting the weights hard? Maybe a little extra creatine in his shakes in the morning. If I was Styles, I'd be pissed because he should be on. I mean, I know Styles had his time, but still, he is still a top main carter. Still, he should be in the mix with some of these guys. I love that he's going away from the whole like, like phenomenal. jump around stuff, like yeah. phenomenal stuff. I like I like this little heel version of AJ Styles. Which I think I think that's that's why AJ Styles is going to win this match. I, I, as I, over I'm as say- over as LA Knight is right now, I think you want to carry this this. This particular rivalry, I think you want to carry it past this. Here's the thing, though. You can't – you got to start pushing L.A. Knight. I mean, he's he's starting to fizzle out a little bit. Not to his own becoming. There's just people that are like this Cody and Reigns and Rollins and Drew and Punk and, you know. Yeah, where does he fit into the, the mix? The spotlight right now. Um, <laughs> it's just unfortunate because I think L.A. Knight's push kind of got, you know, held back. And I don't think that's due to booking. Um, I think they've booked him well. I think they put him Hear in good matches. Um, I think, I think, I think after this whole AJ Styles LA Knight rivalry fizzles, and move him on to Seth, LA Knight versus Seth Rollins. Maybe I mean, there's a like he doesn't LA have Knight. to win that match. He doesn't have to win that match, but you give him a title shot. Yeah, he's obviously not going to fight Roman again. That's 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 no. probably he's not going to be the one to take the belt off of Roman. No, no. We we're both in, we're both in agreement that Cody should be the one to to take yeah, the belt. If it's gonna change, it should be Cody at this point, or Seth. I mean, at this point, but I, I I'm gonna go with Styles too. I think uh, I'd hate to see it. Um, I think LA Knight needs to get a couple wins. I think he needs to get a little bit more momentum to get back to where he was. Not that he's fallen off, and this is not due to booking. This is not due to something he did. I just think there's brighter lights right now, and he is just not that shining right now. Um, but I don't think that's going to stay that way. I think they're going to realize that, and he he deserves. And I mean, his pops are are crazy, still unreal. Um, yeah, yeah. I was at the house show, and I mean, I was for, even for a house show, which wasn't even you know completely sold out. They pop like that. The the crowd pop for LA Knight. Um, Absolutely. So so I think he's got he some so there. Right Put him in some good matches. Give him a better storyline. Um, it, it, it's going to be okay. Uh, Orton, wait, no, this is a triple threat match. So this one, oh, I mean, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say this is gonna. Uh, this has the potential to steal the night. I think this one does have the the United States Championship triple threat: Logan Paul, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens. This one, to me, um, this is just good. This is gonna be good. Um, 
it, it seems like Randy and Kevin could are on potentially the put LA Knight against the winner of this match too. All you three could, of those right? people could potentially could potentially put on a good storyline. Hundred percent. I could see Logan Paul and and Knight, you know, doing doing mm-hmm. some business next year. Um, I mm-hmm. you could you could put Randy. Orton ah, that being Lee. said, I don't think Logan Paul wins the match. I don't think, I think Logan uh, Paul wins this either. Um, but it, I think the Vipers more, taking it. Maybe I don't know. It depends on and if they want to put Logan over Logan Paul. Regardless of what you may think, I don't, on a personal level, I don't think. Paul, I know, I know the Vipers taking it. You think so? Okay. It's not, it's not a think. It's a no. I I'd love to see KO. And Randy it. Orton, RKO's, not once, not twice, possibly thrice, maybe even four times, five, six. How many RKO's do you think? In this match, a lot. But do you really take the belt off of of Logan Paul right now? Is there any? Is there a better? Like I would yeah. put LA Knight as a United States champion over, uh, over. If he was in this match, I'd probably be saying LA Knight's trying to put. Who do you, who do you want to see LA Knight fight for it? I, I think, I think, if you put Randy LA Knight, that's a shorter. Because Randy doesn't need to keep the belt. He doesn't need to do. No, he doesn't, need this. he doesn't need this match. But he's putting over Logan Paul. I think. I think that backstage, because we could talk backstage politics and all that great stuff, but I think Randy Orton does have a respect, mutual respect for Logan Paul, and he's seen how far he's, he's a locker room leader. Listen, it, it, Logan Paul is learning the business and he's learning to wrestle, and it looks great, and he is on a trajectory, and and he's such an asshole, and we know that, and he's an asshole in the ring, and he's an asshole. Yeah, uh, I I I can't see them dropping the belt. I, I can't see him not walking out with the belt. Um, but I'd love to see Kevin Owens take it. I mean, but Kevin Owens doesn't want it. So it's just. Kevin Owens doesn't want it, nor want does he need it. it. You don't need it. You don't but you're right. Kevin... Maybe Logan does to retain just because but he's Randy probably of either, of so. the, th- right, of the three, Logan's probably the one that needs it the most. Good storyline, so. bad booking in the sense of it's for a championship. That's just my. I think you have, you have Randy and Randy and Kevin doing this whole, this whole like friendly shtick. Yes. But I. I don't know. Good I story. Think, I just think it's bad booking when you put a championship up for it. I think I if they think turn on each other and Logan walks out with the belt and then potentially has a storyline with LA Knight, that works as well. I don't see Randy Orton and Kevin Owens turn on each other. They could just beat the crap out of, of Logan Paul for, for this time and he could come in and sneak a sneak right. a, uh, Yeah, they'll probably they'll probably beat the crap out of him and then yeah, sneak it sneak his way through. Sneak his way through. Um so I Ebby mean, could go anyway. I, I could see all any three of these people winning it technically, but l- I, I don't see them taking the belt off. I don't see see him taking the United States championship off of Logan Paul. Um now if Ricochet I'm not going was in against here, the Viper. If, if if Ricochet was in this, if if um Austin Theory or something like that, I could see a title change hands. I just don't think it's gonna change hands on, on that one. Um what do we got here? The next see in this one, I'm I'm sorry, you're gonna have to really go through this because outside of Bailey I, I, I think Bailey's going to do this. I think Bailey's how Bailey gonna... doesn't walk out with the belt. I, I don't, don't know. know. I um, don't. There's no. There's no other way to spin this for me. I mean, you know, because if Bailey doesn't win the belt, then you drag on this damage control dominance oh, over her, or whatever. And I'm I'm tired of that. I'm tired of give her the I think belt. Tired of that. Give her the belt. Let her roll deep with Bianca and Jade Cargill and Naomi. She's She's already pretty good friends with Naomi, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see Bailey not winning, not walking out with with the gold on this. Has, has Bailey got gold before? She has. She has. What did she, she win? Did I don't win think. I don't. Th- she has. Wow, for me, I'm a little blurred. It has that. been a while. I do know that she does have some championships, some women's championship okay. gold on that. I don't know if she's got this particular. I would assume it's been because the. The one that Rhea has is the one that they just updated. See, here's the thing, and it's nothing against New Japan uh, Wrestling, and, and for anybody that listens to this that, that is going to write some bullshit in the comics, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I'm just not a Japan, I'm not a New Japan wrestler. I'm just not. You don't, I don't, you I, don't I'm have not to a be. Fan. I respect the art. I respect the wrestling. I'm not saying anything against them. It's just, listen, I, the EO Sky thing, I, listen, it, she's, 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 she's very she's, talented she's, in the ring. Very talented. Um, I just... I just don't. I just don't see it. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. It's just. It's just my opinion on it. Um, I cannot see Bailey not walking out. I don't think you're alone in that opinion. Bailey is. It's time for Bailey to 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 run and and run something bigger. You never know. Charlotte yes. could be coming back. Um, you got Jake Carter. Yeah. You got all that. You got 
you you've know, got a lot. You got that. So she, that that would be more interesting to me is watch Bailey go through the women's division um, as a right. champ. I think that's a better setup than Io Sky. Uh, no offense to Io Sky, she's a great wrestler and great talent. Um, just I, just the storyline needs to die with uh, damage control. I, you're 100 percent right with that, and I agree with you on that. All right. Now the big bad boy, and I got some comments for this one because I can tell you what I predict is going to happen. But you got Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. This could go either way. I I could see Seth dropping the belt to Drew McIntyre. I could. Um, it, there's so many different scenarios we could go with with this one. Uh, I know CM Punk is going to come in and do something, whether or not what you know it could be. Uh, hey, I was on Drew's side the whole time, and now he's got the belt. It could, because I mean, it's punk. You never know what the fuck you're gonna get. Um, Seth Rollins could, could, uh, you know, Seth Rollins. You're could... blind. You're blinded by the CM Punkness of I'm the match. By, I know he's friend. gonna have his hand in this somehow. Um, For I... sure, but that's only to screw Drew, baby. Like we said before, he's but only in it to screw Drew. Here's the that's thing. the only storyline we need. We need to care about. No, I, I, maybe. But here's the thing, right? Seth You're forgetting Punk somebody. Somebody in purple. Seth and Punk were supposed to have this push. So if he f fucks him over on this, that's going to set up 24. That's going to set up the rest of the year for those two to I'm, go at it. I'm so it, it could it. go either way. I, I don't think Seth is coming out with the belt either way. I, I think, don't either. I think Because of someone. Gonna... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. about no. The Rock. No, baby. The final boss. The final boss. He's not gonna. He's not gonna screw Seth either. Who's gonna screw? You're Seth? You're forgetting about El Senor Money in the Bank, Damian, Damian yeah, Priest, baby. He's coming. Okay. He's already got plans. They're cooking, baby. But he's not gonna win the tag championships. I think. Like you said. And this is no disrespect to Rollins. I think Rollins is top of his game. Rollins is on the top of the game right now. I think he is even above Reigns, to be honest with you. Um, I think he always has been, in my opinion. Um, I think, you know, it could be that too, right? So you, you do have the money in the bank coming out. Um, I, I, you, you could do it either he's, way. He's, Drew beats he's Seth. Out and he's then out Seth it the whole year. Priest. Or you got, you know, I think Drew's going to win it, and then Priest could come in. But are they going to do that? Because that's been done so many times before. Uh, Ziggler did it. Seth did it. Didn't Seth do it at WrestleMania? Like, a couple years ago? Seth did years? it. Um, Ziggler did it. I mean, it. it's been it's definitely it's been, been done. done. Do you want to do that again? What's the point of money in the bank if you're not going to do it, bro? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, Monday, you got Monday after Raw, too. So it's not like he's got to do this like on WrestleMania. You got You're Monday right. He doesn't so, necessarily have to do it on WrestleMania. Right. I yes, but I just want to see it. I want to see it. I think yeah. it's gonna go down. Punk screws over Drew. Drew, distraught, chases Punk out of the fucking arena. Seth, beat up, barely, barely fucking won that match. All of a sudden, Judgment Day music cracks. <laughs> I know everybody wants to see it. What's the point of Money in the Bank? I, I you know, and and this is your, oh, you're gonna fucking beat me up for this one. But Damian Priest, I don't think he's ready to have that. I just don't. I, I think they put the wrong person on the Money in the Bank. Um, but it was at the time is what they needed to do. Uh, I just, I, I don't think, I don't, I, I don't think <clears throat> he's championship yet. I, I like don't. it. I don't. I think he's. I think he's overrated. Um, I think if you're gonna do away with the Judgment Day, which obviously down the line that's gonna happen, you gotta at least give them their run of. We got belts, baby. They all have on top of the world. Belts. They have got what? Well, they got the tag team belts. They got, uh, and then they got the women. You got the tag. Yeah, that's it. Nothing big. It's still some gold. I mean, it's still more than other people has ever gotten. Um, I mean, Dom had that Northeast Championship for a while or whatever. I'm just not North sold American on Priest as a champion is. yet. I'm just not. I'm not saying he's not capable. I'm not saying he's not a good wrestler. I think he's great. Um, I just think that there's – right now, it's it's kind of a good problem for WWE. Right now, they have so many shining lights yeah. that he's just not in there yet. You know, it's just there's just a lot of good stuff going on. And they didn't build to that. A lot of pieces. Yet. A lot of pieces. Fair enough. So I just Maybe Steph kicks out then. Maybe he catches in and Seth keeps the belt. Huh? Huh? Hear me out. That could happen. 
They could. It, it could. How long are we in on this one? I think we got what we got. Uh, Forty minutes. Forty minutes. L- last one. Last one. Last the, match. Last match. We'll wrap it up. Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Obviously, Reigns, Cody. You know my opinion. I've said it about seventeen times. I've been saying it for months. It's got to be his time. I, I, he is white hot. Cody Rhodes is white hot, not only in the WWE universe, but he is he is becoming white hot just in general. I mean, he's on WWE 2K. They're giving him the ball. He's got the key hey. to the Cadillac right now. There's just so much out there that could screw Cody over. I know I've been talking about the final boss That's true. all fucking podcast, but I haven't even mentioned the ace in the hole. Somebody who's a free agent right now. Somebody who knows Cody. MJF. Somebody who's wrestled with Cody before. Good call out. MJF. Maxwell. Jay. Freeman, baby. Yes. And, and and it's interesting because, you know, obviously. Come on. Listen. I mean, you know. That's a quick, that's a quick and easy storyline to set the fuck up right there. MJF. Cody Rhodes. Bring him in with a bang. Well, at best- Mania. The best wrestling story. The final boss. The best wrestling storyline, besides what's going on now, previous to this, was Punk and MJF. That was the best storyline in wrestling for. I mean, it. Potential. It. it, it, it it's got potential. So I'm not as well. saying that. I don't think they would do that now anyway. I don't think it's a Punk and. You know, it's not like back in the day where there's territories and you're just wrestling. You know what I'm saying? I don't think right. they're gonna go there yet. Um, I think it could. Ever, I think it could get there because that story needs to be told WWE style, where they got the money backing, they got the fucking patience, and you know they they can put yes. money into it, right? So they could build that. Yeah, um, unfortunately, AEW can only do so much with I Tony. I think we're gonna be Khan's talking pocket. about AEW in the next year. I just think, you know. It, yeah, they're just not drawing enough money. It's well, it's all it's it's, it's, it's it's just Tony. It's just Tony Khan. Spending more and there's more no money. There's no leadership over there. You got to have leadership of some sort. You got to have some sort of leadership. And there's just none right. over at AEW. That's a whole nother story for we could talk about it. We could do a whole podcast on AEW yeah. and their trolls. We need to delve. We need to delve back into Roman Cody. I think I rewatched last year's match. Um, specifically, I went to the gym and I rewatched last year's match. Cody Cody versus Reigns. Yeah. Um, it, it was a good match. It Very just. That one, like Rome, you could, you could tell there was no sh- like there was some. There was obviously some chance that Cody could have taken the belt. Otherwise, there's there's no interest in the match whatsoever. But Roman came out with six grand pianos on stage, six <laughs> yeah. grand pianos yeah. playing his song. Mm-hmm. Like that was all Roman. Mm-hmm. Like that that was all Hall. But Hollywood could be a little. A little bit of an omen, like you said, going to movies. WWE goes Hollywood. Roman retains. But now this year, he actually goes Hollywood. I don't know. I think he is. I, I And I, I think it's a good time to do it. I think, you know, he can't be doing it to a, a more deserving um, person that is 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 up on that level. Because Cody is, you know. Solid so argument. You can go with the story. I got to finish my story. The Cody Crybabies, The Rock, all that crap. But. Down to brass tacks, wrestling wise, Cody's earned this. He's earned this spot. Yep. I believe it's his time to get that gold, bring it back to the Rhodes family. I really do, and I think I think Reigns wouldn't even be upset about it. I, I think that's a good move. Um, and and listen, and I'm not saying the bloodline needs to necessarily go away. I think the bloodline has been dominant for. The bloodline's not going years. away. They're going to pivot. They're going to yeah, pivot, gonna pivot, and it's going to be a little something. But they are dominant. They've been dominant since 2020, right? And to be fair, if not longer, if not longer, but to be fair, if it wasn't for Reigns wrestling, we we may not even be talking about this right now because during COVID changed a lot of things, obviously for a lot of people, but WWE felt that impact and Reigns was the champion that carried them through probably the hardest time, I think. You know, Absolutely. if you look back at the act, like no audience and that's what WWE is. We all know that if you're listening to this shit um, or you don't know what it is. It's a total 100% audience-driven entertainment thing, and there was no fans. So WWE was probably in some bad shape at that point. And Reigns was a champion, and Reigns made it interesting. Reigns made it interesting to tune in. So I give them all the credit in the world. But I think it's the time and the right place, the right person, the right story. They built this storyline up so great. Um, 
I, I think it's Cody's time. I just can't see him not walking out with the belt on that. Um, if it is, you know, I mean, could Damian Priest come down and 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 take the belt from Reigns though? Because that's a twist I didn't think of. He can he can go after both belts, right? Money in the bank rules. It's both belts. It's either one, right? Once you cash in, you can't. Yeah, he can go after either or. Right. That's he what I'm can saying. technically go go for any belt that he wants. He could. He take the U.S. Think... championship. Yeah. So I think... I think he could take the Intercontinental or U.S. or yeah, but why would he? That wouldn't make any sense. Why would like, you? If you're gonna go for it, go for the home run. Yeah, go I bigger, think, go I home. I would have a bet. I think there's a better shot at Damian Priest cashing something in at that one versus the the Seth Rollins and McIntyre one. I think there's a better opportunity for that. That would piss a lot of people off. Um, you get Cody that, that wins it, and then Damian Priest comes down and beats beats him and takes it. That's fucked up. That's a good. That would that would be a good WWE fuck you. So which they've done. And in then the you've got a. Um, then you've got a pivot. You've got a pivot. Cody Cody versus Judgment Day. Type. You could. I mean, you you could do a lot of things. I I just think Reigns is. Uh, I think Reigns needs to. It, it, he's just been on top for so long, and it's not because he's on top for so long that he needs to take a step away. I think health and wrestling. I mean, he hasn't even been there. He hasn't been there. So it's the time. I think it's the right place. It's WrestleMania 40. It's the biggest WrestleMania ever. They built this storyline up. What what happens if The Rock, you know, we never even thought about this, or we haven't talked about this, but what if The Rock fucks over Roman Reigns to set up the We did talk about here, that, Ron. You got 10-second memory, Bubba. That is my fucking, that is my oh, apologies. vision. I didn't catch that. But I yeah. said the final boss is going to turn on Roman. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. My apologies. That's yeah. the only. That's the only way that they set up a proper Roman versus Rock match. You're right. You're is right. what you're I'm right. saying. You're right. Um. So yeah, that's that's my opinion on that. I I just can't see Rhodes not walking away with the belt. I can absolutely see Rhodes not walking away with the belt. I think he's I think he's almost beyond a belt at this point. But mm -hmm. the reason that they're even giving him the belt shot is because the fans demanded it. So he hasn't had one yet. Do they do they give the fans what they want? Probably. Probably, but uh, but I am not going against the tribal chief, baby. Right, well. So much going on for him right now. Well, see if they win that tag match. Who's in the Hall of Fame? It's not too many people, I think. Uh, my via, that's uh, Rocky's grandmother's going in, right? Um, then you got Paul Heyman, which is great. I don't see how you cannot put Paul Heyman in the freaking Hall. Yeah, of Yeah, I'm not sure who the others are, but it's the first first class inducted by Paul Levesque. No oh, yeah. Vince McMahon touch Vince on McMahon it at touch. all. Which, which, that's the way it needs to continue. Get a state Vince. <clears throat> love you for years. You, you've made this what it is. But you need. Yeah, to, <laughs> it's way better without oh, your creativity. Your your, your, your ruthlessness. It, it did what it could for the company, and I think it needs to fizzle on. All right. Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday night, WrestleMania forty. Um, make sure you tune in. I'm 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 almost 100 positive we're gonna come back and do another one of these as far as should we do uh, should should we do ours before the raw or after the raw as well? That's a good question. I, I think I a feel, Tuesday. I think a Tuesday podcast could be a yeah yeah we could do it after raw because because it's always like we could we could go through w we could go through WrestleMania and because raw like the raw after WrestleMania is obviously another WrestleMania. To be honest with you, it's another pay per view. I mean, some of those yeah. raw, you know this. Some of those raws are are better than pay per view. I mean, growing up as a kid, I wasn't getting the pay per views until my dad got that little black box. If yep. you know, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'll, I I relied on watching the highlights on the Monday after the Monday after WrestleMania. You have to like tune that little thing in there just to get it just right, just so you can. You know, yeah. you know the deal. I yeah, do get it deal. in there. I do know the deal. Um, Otherwise, you'd be watching it on the little the little screen that like squiggles <laughs> on by. Sixty bucks for if you know you know. Now it's nine ninety nine for Peacock, which will soon be Netflix. Yeah, they're slowly slithering thing. their way in there. Yeah, it, 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 it isn't. Before you say that, because this Talk is me, goes. for next year, Netflix. Do you think they're going? I'll give you something to think about. Maybe we'll come back to this, but Netflix. You think going PG thirteen? Are they going to stay PG? Because The Rock's been swearing up and down. Everything, the whole session is bleeped. <laughs> they By the way, I think, he whisp I think he whispered into his ear. I did a little mouth reading. I think he said, I'm going to make you bleed. <laughs> and then he proceeded to make him bleed. Either that or he said, I'm going to make you pay. 
Either way, I think bleed is something that Cody, Cody little crybaby, wouldn't say. So he probably said, I'm going to make you bleed. And then he did. PG-13 or PG? The final boss! For Netflix. You think they're going to stick PG or they're going to go PG-13? Or is there going to be an option? This is something I thought of last night. I don't know if it's possible, but would they have a PG version of a PG-13 show? Could they edit those things out and then just put one? So like for somebody like myself and you, we could go, well, yeah, well, we're adults, so we could watch it. And then if we're watching with our kids, we could go, uh, you know, let's not, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that technology is out there, but it'd be very uh, interesting. I, I wouldn't see. be, I wouldn't be upset with a PG-13 move, but I can see why they don't make that, make that general jump. I don't think they have to. I, I think they can make this just about as entertaining as they want with or without the excessive swearing. I don't think we swore, worse. we swore excessively in this show, but. Not excessively, a couple. Maybe a few, a few F-bombs here and there. A few F-bombs. Well, more to come on that. It's, considering how often we swear when we play video games together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, you got anything else before we end? Um, just signing off. Um, I, don't have, I don't have much to say. I think we covered just about every little bit. And you never know. These things could change. Somebody could get injured. There's still a SmackDown left, so you never know. Somebody could get injured. Um, or they change the order up. This is not necessarily the order. Uh, um, yeah, I personally don't think they'll start off night two with Bobby Lashley versus – Bobby Lashley and the Street, Street Profits versus the Final Testament. Yeah, I think it's going to be Kevin – or I'm sorry. I think it's going to be LA Knight and AJ Styles going to start uh, night two off because you can't have that in, in the intro. They I can see the that. U.S. Championship match being an intro as well. Yes. There's something that too. Or even the women. Something to fire it up. You never know. Um all right. Well, if you don't have anything else, we'll probably end our first We podcast. have been Tommy Savage and the Lock. Catch us on Tuesdays or whenever we decide to make this podcast regular. And uh, we're also looking for wrestling. sponsors. Yeah. Unofficially sponsored by Pit Viper. <laughs> unofficially unofficially sponsored Pit by the Final Boss. <laughs> Blaine. The Rock Johnson. All right, we'll catch y'all soon. Just a little Thanks tequila. For listening, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take it easy, y'all. Peace. And we didn't record any of that. <laughs> I recorded all of it. Making sure. What was the final run time? 45?